Hey, this is Will from Lifter LMS. In this video, I'm going to answer a question we've seen from time to time, and that is, how do I create a view of all courses available in a particular membership? Uh, so there's not a feature in Lifter LMS directly to do this, but we can create this setup using course categories. So what I can do is put together a membership here. I'll call it course bundle and publish my membership here. Then we will view the membership. And so what I want to do is display all courses available in this membership on this page right here. So students can click into the course bundle and see everything that's available. And what we can do on memberships by default is use auto enrollment. So whenever someone is enrolled in the membership, they can automatically be enrolled in select courses. That makes it a little bit easier so they don't have to go enroll themselves after enrolling in a membership. Uh, when you enroll in the membership, you're automatically going to get everything in the course bundle. So we can set that here. Let's say that Will's course about cooking is included. Then I can update that. But what we can see is that that's not going to display on the course bundle. When you sign up for the membership, you're going to get the course, but it doesn't really relay that information here. What we can do is create a course category and then put my course in that category and then display only courses in that category on my membership page. So let's do that real quick here. So under courses categories, I'm going to create a course bundle category. So now that's created, I can add courses to my category. So Will's cooking course is going to be available in my membership. So I'm going to edit my course and put it into that category. On the sidebar here, categories course bundle, and then update. So now my course is in the uh, specific category it's supposed to be in. Now let's display it on my membership page. So if we view my membership page here, I'm going to need to grab a short code from lifterlms.com forward slash short code. If I head down to the courses short code here, it's number 15. I'll copy this long short code right there and paste it onto my membership. So I'll add a short code block in WordPress, or if you're using a page builder, you can add a short code there. I'm going to delete some of these parameters I'm not going to be using. And I'm going to need Lifter LMS courses category equals example slug. So my example is my category. So let me find my category slug is course dash bundle. So I'm going to copy that and then paste it right into my short code there. So now it's going to display courses in the category of course bundle on my page. And there we go. So now any course in the category is going to display on my membership page here. And that's kind of how we can create that setup where you have a view of all courses available in your membership. And so if I add a new course to my website that I want to include in my membership, I would of course give my course a name, make sure that's published. We'll want to include it in my course bundle category. Update that. And then now that it's in the category, it will display here on my membership page. And then of course I could edit the membership and auto enroll the student into that course when they sign up if I want to. So now when you sign up for the membership, you'll automatically get this course and you can also view the membership page to see the course. And the neat thing about this is, if I enroll myself, we could see this in action. So I'm going to enroll myself as a student into this membership update. And then on my student dashboard page, I can see the courses I have access to, but I can also go down to my course bundle membership here and see the page we've been working on here. So yeah, that's kind of how you can uh, show a view of all courses available in your specific membership on the membership page itself or anywhere you want to. You can really customize this setup and do a lot, but this is kind of the easiest way uh, to create that setup. Uh, this has been Will from Lifter LMS. Feel free to let us know in the comments below if you have any other questions about Lifter LMS, and I'll see you in the next video.